And right now, like we always do on Thursdays, we throw it back old school when 50 hits. We're talking about your old school neighborhood games. Oh. What do I mean by that? Those all day, all night games of hide and seek. You know, when you're out and about from the morning till the till when the lights went down, till when the lights went out and you had to get home. You know, I said there's a couple that came to mind. I Let me give you the other two. I said, first of all, the schoolyard game, not to be confused with the different version of the game in college, like I said, uh, asses up, where you threw the, the handball against the uh, against the brick wall at the schoolyard. And again, on the west side, Danny G said they called it butts up. Yeah, butts up. Butts up. Uh, whatever it is. You, if, you spell, if you missed the ball and bobbled it, you had way, a run. What creep invented that game? Butts up? <laughs> no. Uh, well... I think you we'll call it butts up. Kids even played it at the bus Rich. stop every morning waiting for the bus. If there was a wall, somebody had a racquetball in their backpack or their pocket, and they're like, let's go, butts up. But I just remember when you spelled out ASS, you had to stand against a wall, arms up, and everyone got a free shot to throw the ball as hard as oh. they could at you. And you're like, oh, please don't hit me in the head. Like, oh. Yeah, I remember a kid getting hit in the back of the head, and he was crying on the bus the whole way to school. Oh, so double humilia- humiliation. Yep. Cried and got hit in the head. Two other quickies. Obviously, everyone played street football. Oh, yeah. Car. You know, yeah. you, you the, the, the sidelines were the curbs. From street pole to that tree, right? Like, everybody had yep. their own rules. It was fantastic. Smear the blank. And by Man. the way, what's oh, so- kick, kick it or st- uh, stick it or kick it? Stick Did it anyone kick, kick? I know, kicked? right? No one kicked. No touchbacks. And guess what? The reason we talk about this, too, is because it's almost a lost art. I'm not saying no kids go out and play anymore, but not the way we did. And that's why they're confused as to why did you drink out of the hose? Because yeah. we were outside all day. The the other game I wanted to bring up. You remember team, how sweaty you'd be just playing all oh, day? Dude, team hide and seek <laughs> on the East Coast. Again, it might sound different as a grown-up, but uh, manhunt. <laughs> so we team hide and seek. You go around the neighborhood. You'd be hiding under like your neighbor's deck. Yeah, you'd be in the bushes. Like, <laughs> and the then best. you had to, you had to get back to a base. It was team hide and seek. We played that. Lights went down. Lightning bugs were out. After nine p.m. manhunt. I thought you were gonna say ding dong ditch because <laughs> my older brother always terrorizing the neighborhood by running up. Ringing the door, not the 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 doorbell. We did bell. that at night. For sure. Well, now you couldn't do it nowadays because of all the stupid no, cameras. No, oh, super ring doorbells, the, doorbells yeah. ruined that. As we got older and more mischievous, you know, we would uh, mischievous. We would take because everybody had like the same cable company for the we most part. We did the same town. thing. We would take the remote control and like turn people's TVs on <laughs> in the window, and you could see people uh, coming out. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Dude, we, and then we would run, you know. So we would do our versions of that. Hey, did you guys play this game, or was it just me and my friends where you try to unscramble the Spice Channel? Did you ever play that game? I think that's a boob. I think it is. I don't know. You know, when you tried to unscramble and decipher what it was. Um, no, that's it's a kneecap. It's a kneecap. Uh, okay. Did you guys have any games that you made up, like original neighborhood games? Yes, we played the equivalent of, I guess you would say, like, Manhunt or tag, but on our on our dirt bikes, like we would go, and you had to get within a tire length of the person. Like you would chase each other down on your bikes, so it was like bike tag. That's cool. No, tag. yeah, yeah. You uh, know what, yeah. Danny G? That's a great question because I think everybody has that. I mean, I made my own wiffle ball rules, my own basketball rules, things like that. When you play baseball or quote wiffle ball, did any of you guys, Brian Fenley, Danny, did you guys ever stuff the thin wiffle yeah. ball bat with newspaper yeah. and make it heavy, like weigh it up? And every different neighborhood had their own little rules like that, or they played with the stuffed newspaper bat. And I, I didn't, you know, so you had to adjust a lot of times depending on where you rode your bike to. On the East Coast, did you guys have back alleys? Did you have an alley behind your house? Not really, okay. but I know the lifestyle out Coast, here. Yeah. yeah, a lot of towns here, especially in Southern California, I know. Like in Rialto, California, growing up, we had a back alley, and there were some little badass troublemaking kids down on the other end of the street, and they would stay down there. We'd stay on our end of the alley, and we would gather rocks in our shirts, and it was a game of chicken. So they would be all the way down the alley, and we would throw, take turns throwing rocks at each other's groups. The thing was, you couldn't move. Right. It was chicken. You just like oh. launch them. Yes, yes. So or you, ah. you, your feet, <laughs> yeah, your feet had to stay That's still. That's awesome. So I, like I, that. I remember a rock whizzing past my oh. brother, and he just was able to duck his head to the side. There was one throw, and I, I thought for sure I was going to jail for life. One in a million. I chuck this rock. 
It was a big rock, too, almost the size of a boulder. And it tagged this kid right in the forehead. And we went running. We went inside, locked all the doors, turned all the lights off, and hid. I think I killed him. This This kid's mom came huffing and puffing up to our door. With the kid oh, next to her, the God. kid's face was covered in dried blood. Oh, you know man. how Camino depicts his mom as like a protective mama bear? <laughs> yeah, my why smother. Don't, why don't you tell them how your mother whooped a kid in the neighborhood's ass with a wiffle ball back as they picked on you? Oh, well, I was like eight, right? I was probably like eight or nine. This kid was like 13, 14. So I was significantly younger than this kid. And, you know, that's how the neighborhood was, though, right? This kid's riding around on a skateboard or whatever. I'm playing jacks on the front lawn, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm doing something stupid, playing with some pharmacy toy that I got. A uh, paddle with a ball. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know, remember those little wooden uh, airplanes? Yeah. Right, I'm playing with one of these things. Or those, remember those rockets that would shoot into the air? Of course. <laughs> Filled with water. Oh, the I'm parachute doing, guys. I'm playing, with my, yeah. I'm playing with my color forms that I got at the pharmacy. This kid comes by and he's teasing me. True story. Teasing me. Like really like 80s bully. He's being an 80s bully kid and just pushing me around. My mom came out. Like the radar went off. She came out with a wiffle ball bat and gave him a beat down, dude, <laughs> and chased him all the way to his house. And he had like welts on his back. For real. Ah, Never ah. bothered me again. Well, so yeah. mom had my back. Imagine if that we happened called today. called that whooping the ass of the bully in my neighborhood. Is that what it's called? It was a fun game. Danny, it, it's called. You know, it was a fun game called "Have Your Mom Fight Your Battles." Yeah, Danny, you brought up the rock thing. I, I'll tell you just a quickie. Uh, this is how I knew I was not. I was sort of. I had moments where I was like, sort of a weak ass. I'll be honest. I wasn't. There was like a summer rec program at my school where, like, it was like a free camp, right, for the local kids in the school. We were throwing rocks, like you said. Throwing rocks was kind of. Fun. I, the kid next to me, took a rock to the forehead, like you said. Gashed him open, bleeding everywhere. And this is like a tough kid, and he started crying, and blood was everywhere. I told my mom, I'm like, don't send me back. <laughs> I, I, re- I did not want to go back to the summer like <laughs> camp because I was like, mom, they throw rocks. I'm going to die. <laughs> I Dude, remember we being used so some scared. of my friends, again, you know, they did some crazy things. They would, everybody threw rocks. Danny J, it's a fun memory when you look back, and we would just throw them over the neighborhood houses and wait to hear. <laughs> What it hit? I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know if there's something. I don't know if it's something in in genetics or like being a little boy. But my yeah. son is three, right? It's part of it. When we we walk around the block, and some and goes kids on are, his, we're more mischievous than others. All my son wants to do, he's three. All he wants to do is pick up rocks and throw them. Yeah. I'm like, is this just genetically in every little boy? Like, yeah, must is, throw yeah. rocks. It is. Must and, throw rocks. And you know what that changed over to is <laughs> my brother and friends uh, in the neighborhood would pitch golf balls to themselves and hit them with aluminum baseball bats. Oh, yeah. Watch them launch. And, and those of course would fly through the neighborhood oh, yeah. and you would just be listening to <laughs> yeah. to hear what it where it landed oh, what it hit i know dude it was terrible uh, Kavino rich i'm thinking about how young do you have to be to play spin the bottle because i think both oh. of you two seventh were- eighth grade man okay. you're horny brian oh. you're the, like we're talking I, about I, like wiffle ball he's like what do you guys think about seven minutes in heaven oh, that yeah. Yeah. brian i think you're old enough Oh yeah. Oh, oh. yeah, man. He's trying. Uh, you, you guys were kings at that. I'm sure back in the day. Uh, you know man, what? Brian's like Teen grade. Wolf in the closet. <laughs> you know, Rich has a better story where he had like a creepy. Again, some kids were more mischievous than others. Yeah. You had a friend that would like try to be yeah. like, "Hey, ladies, why don't you come we, over?" We would, right? meet, we would meet girls like the mall or the roller skating rink when we were like eighth grade. My buddy Phil was always such a little little pervert, as right. uh, Theo Vaughn would say, a little pervert, like, uh, lampwick, and. He would always be like, all right, girls, let's play. I'm going to turn the lights out. Let's play hide and seek. If I find you, you have to kiss me, see? And, and I just remember being like, good idea, Phil. Yeah. And they yeah, like all the, yeah, uh, Brian Fenley, I, I was, uh, I had like pimples and glasses and a mullet. So I, my game was not tight back then. But I mean, spin the bottle. Seven minutes. Your, your sweatpants were kind of tight back then. That they were. I'd, uh, you know, got my model sporting. Goods. I think that's more of like a seventh, eighth grade yeah. time of year sort of thing. What was weird, guys, is you remember Heads Up, 7 Up? Yes. Yeah. That how was perver- a classroom game, yeah, though, Yeah, but right? how perverted is that? Everybody puts their head down, and you got to flick the thumb, and then you think, oh, maybe the, the girl that's yes. flicked my thumb has a crush yes. on me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You read into that? Yeah, yes. dude. That was the first sign of like really reading into yeah. those things. Yeah, well, you, you, know? never, you didn't touch someone you didn't like. So wait, I, I'm <laughs> yeah. actually surprised that everybody, because yeah. again, we're from the East Coast, you're from the West Coast. 
Everybody played like seven up in the classroom. Yeah. Seven yeah, up. Yeah. That must have. They must have like a teacher conference. Like, all right, here's the game. Seven up. <laughs> but I just didn't love that though. But you, um, yeah, yeah. Rainy day games. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, here yeah. in Southern California, we called it a fog, a smog alert day. Uh, all right. You couldn't even go yeah. outside because the air quality was so bad. Throwback Thursday, old school and fifty hits. Your old school neighborhood games. I'm not. I don't think anyone's gonna say this one. And I don't want to claim to be like the old school guy. Yeah, I played kick the can. No, I didn't. But did you guys or did your parents ever tell you or teach you how to play stoop ball? And did you ever play that where you're throwing it against the stoop, against the steps? And you try to hit the just the... It, yeah, hit the, the edge. And if it goes over, it's a home run. No, I, I never played it. I, I would just throw the ball myself. I never knew there was a game Yeah, involved. bro. There was so much involved in that. And I would play it all day for hours at a time. Rob, who hit us up in San Antonio, he's a little older than us. He said, so dangerous now, but looking back, so fun. People died playing lawn darts. He's like, these things were yeah. like weapons. Yeah. No, I, I remember those for sure. Um, again, all day hide and seek, marathons, kill the man with the ball. Building right? BMX jumps. Oh, for sure, dude. Yeah. Um, let's go to the phones because we want to give away all the answers. Your old school neighborhood games. Who do we got? Uh, let's go to Austin in Florida. You're on with Kavino and Rich. What's up, buddy? Hey, guys. How you doing? Thanks for having me. No, man. We're good, man. Throwback Thursday. Getting into Memorial Day weekend. What, what comes to mind for you? Yeah, you guys might have just said it, but uh, kill the carrier back in the day. Just a football group of buddies is just tackling the hell out of each other. You know, that's the only time I ever sucker punched someone, Austin. There was a kid in my neighborhood. My brother's five years younger. So let's say Danny, if I was 13, my brother was like eight or nine, right? So he, you, you always want the, uh, hey, let's get an extra guy. I'll bring my brother. This kid kept roughing up my brother. And I was like, I was like a nerdy 13. I'm like, don't mess with my little brother. Like, I was trying to be protective. You know, he was just unnecessarily being tough mm -hmm. to a nine year old. <laughs> yeah. And I remember him like, if you do that again. And he's like, what are you going to do? So he tackled my brother again. I went up to him. Sucker punch. Well, it was right. uh, Scott Farkas, right? I mean, his name was Tim. I remember I went up to him. I thought his name was Scott. I punched him as hard as I could in the stomach. He went, <laughs> and then I punched him in the face. <laughs> oh, he, nice. fe he fell, and then I was like, I better just jump on him and be like, ah! And then you I pulled I, the Ralphie. Yeah, I, 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 like I stuck it. up for my little brother. You know, the only time I ever sucker punched him. Brian Family, he, he liked this game, I think. You ever play this game? <laughs> Brian's I like, you ever play yeah. strip? No, no, uh, no. <laughs> no, no. Wow. Family, family, you ever play wow. this one? Where you're like you're hitting uncontested like three point shots, no one's around, your friends aren't out yet, but you're saying to yourself, if I hit this one, Danielle's gonna like me. I would always do that. <laughs> I I would take what you said and then I would say in my backyard that Danielle is watching me through the trees <laughs> of my wow, backyard. You're really creepy. I think yeah. you were watching Danielle <laughs> yeah. through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, Danny J. Everybody did that, right? Where you're like, if I hit this shot, this girl's gonna yeah, like me. Je Jennifer is gonna have a crush on me. You know, oh. I think everybody did that, right? Of I course. think I got my mean three point shot. I bet you that's how Steph Curry got so good. Uh, Kevin in Texas, <laughs> you're on with Kavino and Rich. Old school games from back in the day. What, what were you playing back then? What's going on, fellas? Man, y'all are being nostalgic today, brother. Man, I was, I was telling my daughter the other day, man, I have to start for you guys. Nowadays, you can't even let the kids play outside, man. Nowadays, it's true, man. No, Kevin, oh, Kevin, you know, before you give us yours, it's regional, we, we, but we it's were true. talking about this recently where, do you remember, like, you would go out and your mom would be like, be home by dinner. I'm not trying to say that was a cool time, but never in a million years would someone and tell their home because she had stove top. No one in a million years in 2023 would be like, all right, I won't talk to you all day. Just be home by dinner. You're oh. texting your kid. Your kid's calling you, FaceTiming I'm, you. I'm taking this from the clip that we played earlier, but they said they had commercials for the parents that had to remind them that they had kids. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Because your parents really, it's not they that they didn't care, them. but that you were out all day. They had to remind you on TV that, hey, uh, you got kids outside. You got kids. Uh, go ahead, Kevin. What all you got, day. Man? All day, man. Now, it, it, but now we live in the world with air tags and find my phone. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, Austin, by the way, they, that, down here in the south, we call that smear. The can't say that word anymore. But yeah, we, yeah, we remember. Yeah, but uh, I just remember riding bikes, man, for miles and towns and towns away. And then all of a sudden, we're all looking at each other like, where the F are we, man? <laughs> Dude, no. Everybody Austin, you know, Kevin, shares that. Kevin, you you just brought up a memory that Kavina. I, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I will because I feel like the fact that you said it, I feel like we could all relate. He nailed it, Ramos, Danny. Think back. You're riding your bike, town to town to town, looking get, for extraterrestrials. Look, looking, you're looking all around. 
you ever go a little far, a little too far, and you have that like stomach ache feeling as like a twelve year old? You're like, I'm one too many towns away. <laughs> like my mom yeah, does yeah, not. Man. I should not be this far away from home. Like I'm like I'm a good hour away on my bike from home. That and, was a feeling I think we all have. Like, I'm in a town I don't know. Yeah, and did you have some change for a payphone? Oh, no. The, here's the old <laughs> trick. Can I give you the trick? You have a collect call oh, from. Yes. Mom, I'm at the movie theater. Pick me up. <laughs> like, <laughs> collect calls for sure. Yeah, that was the old trick. That, that pickup. Did you guys play? Look, we all played. You know, if someone had a basketball rim in their backyard, a setup or whatever, I did. So I, w- I would have people coming by all the time. Dude, we would play. I mean, obviously, the obvious ones, horse, and I know you, 21. Would, you would switch that up, switch that up, but yeah, 21 yeah, we called, we called was, it was Montel, We called it Montel in honor of uh, Montel Williams, our favorite. You could switch host. it up. <laughs> but 21 for me was one of the games that I played yeah. forever, all yeah, day, yeah. all yeah. the time, and I'm still down. Like, I don't even want to play like a pickup game. I want to play you in 21 still to this day. Moral dilemma. When I was a preteen teenager... My friend was out of town on vacation. His family probably took him to very East Coast vacation. Danny, like Hershey Park or Sesame Place or <laughs> Dorney Park. They were away for the weekend. I was playing basketball on his driveway when he wasn't home, oh. and I broke his window. Oh. I told him. Oh, my yeah. ma- I was like, Mom, what do I do? She's like, you have to be honest and yeah. you know, use your allowance to pay for a window. I had to do that deal. But you ever, you're playing at someone else's house when they weren't home? You do that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you would even <laughs> jump in their pools if they weren't uh, home sometimes. Brian and Palm Strings. What's up, Brian? Hey, Brian. Hey, fellas. Uh, just listening to Danny G's uh, story, just had me cracking up in the car. Uh, we used to play a similar game called Rock Wars in the desert in front of our house. And we would have to uh, hide in some forts and... We had a neighborhood friend who threw a a big uh, boulder size like uh, drywall rock, slow motion. I can see it just going towards my brother, explodes on top of his head. Oh I no! Out, <laughs> I froze. I I couldn't believe it. I was like, my dad's gonna whoop me because I'm the older brother. And sure enough, man, uh, he takes me in and you know he uh, he handled business. I just couldn't stop laughing because. Uh, Oh, it's hilarious! It's listening, reminiscing the stories. Yeah, no, honestly, we all did these things when we were kids. So it, it is fun you. to reminisce once in a while. I got a memory for you. You probably forgot. There was always some some family that had a tire swing in their backyard too. <laughs> did you ever have like yeah. see that? And you just spin around like for for so fun. long, and you'd take like the smallest kid in the neighborhood and wind them up like yeah, as far the, as it can go. All like, dude, that was so fun, man. So some old school neighborhood games, things you did when you were just basically trapped outside all day because you couldn't leave the door open. In or out. Your parents were like, make a choice. You're either in or out. And you had to be drinking from the hose all day. But those are the best memories we have. And we bring it up because this past week, there was some viral video where younger people and younger kids, were, they, like, they just didn't get like, why we why, were, why would you drink out of a hose? Why the hose? It's like, well, because we were outside all day because that was fun. That was it. There was even pool games we played. Like, Do you remember... Do you remember doing the whole thing like you would throw change at the bottom of the pool or collect it? Or, yeah, there's, there's a lot Marco. of things. We could go on and on.